okay so welcome back so today in this video we will handle the wrong mongo id error and also we will handle the mongo's validation error okay and also we have to handle the duplicate key error for example when we have users in our database we cannot allow two users with the same email address email address should be unique okay so in that case we get the duplicate key error but we will handle that error when we will uh, register our user i will show you then how we can handle the duplicate key error but right now we have to handle two errors the wrong mongo id error and the validation error for mongos okay so for that i simply go to my middlewares and the errors now i have to handle this error in the production mode only because in this case i'm getting the complete error stack it is fine but if we have a wrong mongo id we have to display a proper message to the user and definitely that is in production mode right so after this i will simply type here first of all wrong mongo's object id error let me show you first of all that what this error actually is if i go to my postman and get a single product if i type here some gibberish click on send you will see that cast to object id failed for value this so this is the wrong mongo id error we have to handle it if i run it in the uh, development mode just to show you the complete error click on send so you can see that this is the cast error so what i do is i simply go back and here i simply type here that if err dot name equals to cost error so if it is equal to cost error then we simply have to uh, const message will be equal to a similar type here resource resource not found okay and then type here invalid and we have to pass here the err dot path what is this if we go back to my postman you can see that we have here the path because this id is invalid so we have in path we have id so we will simply get here that resource not found invalid id that is perfect and then again we have to use your error handler so error will be equal to new error handler and that is going to pass the message at 400 bad request all right and now let's test it out this cost error make sure i put here three equal to's all right so make sure that you run your application in the production mode because you have added these lines in the uh, production only so now if i go back to my postman and click on send from here you will see that resource not found in valid id which is perfect we need this one okay so now whatever happens this is only going to give this error proper error to the user in the production mode okay so now let's get back our id so this product not done not found i think so we have to put here five i think so just leave it right now okay so now let's handle our second type of error that is validation error if i go to the create new job as i've shown you before and the body if i remove these two lines press send you can see that you only get here a please enter product name in fact the price is also not here we have to display all those two messages so what i do is i simply go back to my VS code and after this I simply type here handling mongoose validation error and if err dot name is equal to the validation error then we simply have to type here const message that will be 
let me show you first of all if I press Control S and I'm hitting development mode to show you error first of all so in development mode if I go back to postman and click on send from here uh, alright you simply have to remove these tools from here click on send you can simply see here we have an object here of errors alright so we'll get all the values from that and print this message okay which is please enter product name like that so what I do is I simply type here object dot values so values of the object that is err err dot values then you have to map through all these values so map and then the value will be equal to the value dot message and now if I simply pass here error equals to new error handler message and the 400 bad request right so let's it in the production mode to test it out if I go back to my postman and click on send from here so cannot convert undefined to object so that is the uh, so <laughs> that is err dot errors so press control s and if I go back to my postman and click on send you will see that please enter product name so you can see that here we only get here enter product name because if I go to my I think so uh, in price it is required oh we have given the default value uh, because we have given the default value so if you don't provide it it is absolutely fine because by default the value is going to be 0, 0.0 but if I remove this description if I go back to my here and let me remove this description from here if I click on send from here now you will see that here please enter product description comma then please enter product name not is working properly all right so this is the validation error we have display all the errors ready to the validation like please enter this thing and this that thing right it doesn't appear here because we have given the default value here so if we don't provide it default value is going to be 0, 0.0 so that's how you don't get it in the validation error but i hope that you understand what we have done in this video all right i get back my all products simply save it and now if i go back to my vs code so i hope that you understand it okay so now we have handled our wrong mongoose id also we also handled the validation error and i think so we are right now done with the error handling right now we also definitely add here more errors like json app token invalid json app token error expire json app token error and the cost error or not cost error the duplicate key error and definitely we add our errors step by step and we'll move on towards our next uh, basically routes okay so i hope that you understand each and everything about the errors how we can handle the errors so if there is any confusion you can definitely ask me a question i'm always here to help you okay so that's it for this video i will see you in the next section